Hello, Jane. Good afternoon, Jane. How are you? I hope you're feeling OK, Jane. Hello, Sue. Hello there. I'm very well, Sue. Are you? I'm very well. Good afternoon, everybody. It's blowing a hoolie out there, I must admit. It's blowing a gale. So let's just hope that the Facebook Live stays connected. Hello, Jill. How are you, Jill? Welcome. Hi, Janice. Hey, Elizabeth. It's lovely to have your company, Elizabeth. Good afternoon, Jane. Hello, Valerie. How are you, Chuck? Hi, Carol. Hello there. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're all well. Hope you're all sort of sitting somewhere nice and warm because it's cold out. Hello, Sarah. How are you? Hi, Lynn. Good afternoon, Sue. I'm glad you're well, Sue. Good afternoon, Margaret. Good afternoon from Germany. Welcome. I'm having a lazy, relaxing afternoon and just what you deserve, Jane. Just what you deserve. It should be a relaxing afternoon on a Saturday, shouldn't it? I think it should. Shouldn't be too stressful. That's my excuse. Mind you, any excuse really for a relaxing afternoon. I like how I have to keep pressing my screen to see the comments, that's great. So I'll just wait a few moments before I get started. Uh, and then we'll get started on this nice simple card. Hello Marjorie, how are you? I just thought I'd pop by and create some simple cards on my Facebook Lives. Just because it's it's nice and simple and it's nice and relaxing. Nothing too strenuous. Sound not very good on Kindle. Oh dear. My sound's okay here. I've just tested it. Hello, Janet. <laughs> Have you got a phone you can try it on? Hello, Gail. Good afternoon. You never know what the wind will do. The wind outside, that is. Not my wind, the wind outside. You never know what it plays havoc with. But it plays havoc with so many things. So I just thought I'd pop by. It's a bit dull outside, it's windy, so why not create a simple card? Catherine just took me on a voice call in TK Maxx. <laughs> Have you been shopping with a Jane? <laughs> That's very cute. Yeah, it is here, Sue, as well. It's really windy. I don't, to be honest, I don't like it when it's really windy because I always worry about the roofs and everything. Hello, Anne. Hello there. Hi, Flower. How are you? Welcome, Anne. Hello, Joe. Hello there. Thank you for all your lovely comments, Joe. Thank you. Hi, Diane. Hello, Giggly. That's because I'm, I'm already saying the wrong thing. I shouldn't be allowed live. Good time of the day for us here in the East Coast. Hello, Hope. You're very welcome. Hi, Denise. So this is a nice, simple card. Something that you could create if you just want to while away an hour and not create anything too complicated with too many products. Yep, I can't get to TK Maxx, so she's took me shopping. <laughs> I like how you've gone virtual shopping with Catherine. <laughs> Is she actually going to buy you anything that you need? <laughs> I've never been virtual shopping with somebody and asked them to buy me things. That'd be dangerous. Hello, Vicky. Hello there. Yes, if I actually went into a shop with somebody and they looked around all the shelves, I'd end up saying, can you get me one of those and one of those? Mind you, it's a nice, easy way to shop. I hope you're well, Vicky. So we're going to create this card today, which is nice and simple to create. And if you want to create it, I'm nearly home. Pop back in a bit. Thanks, Jan. <laughs> Have you been exercising, Jan? Yes, Ecoline pens and fi <laughs> fine liners. <laughs> oh, great. Mind you, I love my Ecolines. I love my Ecolines. Hello there, Carrie. Hello there. Welcome. So we're going to create this nice, easy card. I've got all my layers cut out ready. The lake was freezing. Oh, oh, Jan, you're braver than me, Jan. But I have to say the exercise must be brilliant. Standing on those, what do you call them? Are they kayaks or 
canoes or I don't know what you call them, but standing on one of them, it would take me all my time to keep me balance. I'd end up in the lake most of the time. Hello, Jill. How are you, Jill? Hi, Flower. You t off on annual leave from the hospital, so I'm a happy bunny. Yay, Vicky. Nothing better than annual leave. Not tried ones like yours before. Ooh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a piece of craft card. Exhilarated paddleboard. That was it, paddleboard. I don't know whether I'll be able to stand up straight. Exhilarating. I'd call it freezing jam. Paddleboard. That's it, Diane. I couldn't think what it was called. But there's no way I could stand up on it. I just know that it would take all my leg strength because you've got to have good leg strength and balance. Something I do not have. So I'm hopeless. So what I'm doing is I'm starting with a piece of craft card and the craft card is four and a half inches by six and a half inches. Nice nails. My bottle green nails tonight. Bottle green. <laughs> I like having my nails painted. Can you tell, Vicky? It's a bit windy today. Oh, oh Jan, no. No, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been sitting indoors. I did do sit-ups, but I've been sitting indoors. So we're going to... I'm on leave till retirement. Oh, Jill. Yay. And have two shows on the... crap. I'm gone. I'm on leave till retirement on the 21st of December and have two shows on the craft store on the 19th. You personally, Jill... So if you're joining in, you need a piece of card, four and a half inches by six and a half inches. And what I want to show you is that I'm just creating spotlights. And if you want to create something a little bit different, you can then create it in a different format as well. You can use the same spotlight effect just in a different format. I'll just lift that up just so you can see the spotlight just done in a different way. But using your backgrounds again in a different way. Yes, me personally. Some screen test. Yay, Jill. So will you actually be, is it just your screen test or will you actually be on the craft store? Oh, I'm excited for you. That card on craft card. Oh, thanks, Jan. But I always like to show you a different way. If you want to create something a little bit different with the spotlight, you can use your background stamps and create a spotlight like that just to just give you a different a different effect so let's create let's create our craft card nice simple card this is one of those that if you want to create something simple you don't want to be too stressed with too many products this is perfect no two shows five and nine right i'll make a note of that date jill and i'll try and message in to give you some support just so you feel like we're watching you and giving you some support so I'll try and remember that flower. So huge congratulations. So I'm going to ink my violet stamp. So I'm using the violet and I wanted to use this one because I wanted to use one that's got a bit of delicacy, but that I could bring some life to. So I wanted to use my violet stamp. So I'm giving that a good inking. And the good thing with craft card is that it, it sucks in the, in the ink, so you don't need to blot. And this has actually got a right side and a wrong side. And what I'm going to do is decide where I want my violet. And every time you stamp, you'll stamp it in a different place. You won't get it in exactly the same, in exactly the same place each time. So I'm just stamping around about the same area. So I'm using my black Nocturne ink. Do you know, Vicky, I love craft card. I've always loved craft card and I've always loved just colouring it very lightly on craft card. And do you know what else I like about craft card is even if you're not very good at colouring and you just add a gentle layer of colour, you get a lovely effect. So I just love craft. I'm having to have you on the phone and look on the Kindle. That's brilliant. Thanks, Janet. So what I like about craft card is you can add gentle colour without it overpowering everything and without getting too stressed about your colouring. And something very exciting planned for February. Yay. So, yes. So the 
The colouring is so easy on craft. You don't have to stress about it too much. So, do you know, I had my pen here. There it is. Thank you. So what I've got is I've got some a couple of die cut circles cut out. So you can just draw around a jar or a lid or you can die cut the circles. This circle is two and a half inches. That circle's two and a half inches. And this circle is one and a half is that one and a half or one and three quarters? Hang on a minute. One and a half. So that one is one and a half. And was this two and a half? Do you know, I've forgotten the measurements already. Oh, how dangerous am I? You see, I just use any craft card, to be honest. I just got this from Amazon. So that's two and a quarter inches and the other one's one and a half. So I use any, if I'm honest. I, I use any. <laughs> do i say inchy <laughs> that's my accent that is gay <laughs> i can't help myself i'm terrible so what i'm doing is i'm using a micron pen use you can use a biro if you wish it doesn't have to be a micron pen it can be a biro as long as it's not going to move that's absolutely fine and what i'm going to do is just judge where i want my circle so i think i'm going to go there and i'm just using my micron pen just to mark that out i'm very well done are you flower i'm very well so what i'm doing is i'm spotlighting some of the areas so i'm going to go round with my pen and i'm not going to go through the flower i'm just touching up to the flower so just make sure that you've drawn around just with your biro or your micron pen. So you're just drawing around that. And the idea is this, is that you're going to sit there at home and create some easy projects. Yes, some craft card looks the same both ways, but my craft card doesn't. It's duller. It's actually duller and lighter in colour on this side than it is on this side. So yes, there is a right and wrong side to mine. I've had my booster jab as well, Dawn. I hope you're okay. I felt a bit bleh afterwards, so I hope you feel okay. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to add, so I don't want that to touch, so we'll have this around about there. So I'm going to add another spotlight and I'm going to draw around And when I come to the stamped image, I sort of, I don't cross over the lines when I come to the stamped image. So that you've got a couple of spotlights there. So I've just missed a bit there. There we go. Just so that you've got a couple of spotlights. I will just hold, fingers crossed for you, Dawn. I will just hold that up just so that you can see. I've just added those two spotlights. And sometimes it's nice to have a project that isn't too strenuous, that isn't going to, you know, get you to rack your brain too much so that you can just literally enjoy the process of creating. So I've then added my three spotlights just so that you can see that. Just added the three spotlights. Just really lost my tooth busy listening to what you're saying. I'm a bit hard on a ooh, ooh, on a butter mint. Oh, I have to be careful with my teeth, what I'm eating, especially if it's chewy. Hi, Leslie. Hello there. So what I've got is I've now got three spotlights. Now, it's entirely up to you how you colour those spotlights. I have had all of them. Shingles, pneumonia, flu, COVID, tetanus, what's next? Never had a reaction from any. Oh, that's brilliant, Hope. Both jabs last week felt grand. Oh, Vicky, I'm so pleased you did. I had the AstraZeneca, the first two injections, and then I had Pfizer booster. Oh, I felt rough. But hey-ho, I've had it done. Now, what you need to do is you need to decide on what your colouring medium is. And whatever your colouring medium is, what you need to remember is gentle. Oh, 
Do you like how I've sharpened that and it's not? There we go. I've lost my pencil. Hang on a minute. Let's give that a sharpen. I broke my tooth in half eating a butter mint. Oh, I don't think butter mints are a good idea then, personally. It does, doesn't it, Gina? It just makes it look a little bit different, I think. Just, just something a little bit different. But also, if you don't want to create something, we don't always want to create something that's going to take 10 hours. Yes, you're supposed to twist your sharpener, not your pencil. But it drives me potty, twisting my sharpener rather than my pencil. But yes, you're supposed to twist your sharpener rather than your pencil. So there we go. And what I'm using is I've had, I've got my polychromos. Now with my polychrom, oh, yes, that's what Ian had, Jill. He had the Moderna and flew together a couple of weeks ago. Felt pretty grotty for 24 hours. That's how Ian felt, Jill. Was there Turkish taffy in the UK? What, what's Turkish taffy? They do look like bubbles, don't they, Dawn? I have the same. For, I felt rough after the booster. Yet my hot, my arm was painful. I should get. I've never. Do you know? I've never had a flu jab. I've never had a flu jab. I suppose I should get one. Really. Now your key to this. Your key to this is gentle. The key to this is not to press on. So what you need to do is take, I'm using a white polychromo. And if you can see, I'm holding it really high up in my hand. And I'm just adding a gentle layer of colour. And my pencil's sort of on the side. Now there's a reason that I hold my pencil on the side. A very hard flavoured taffy in a bar, toffee in a bar. Oh, no, we don't have those, but I can't eat any hard toffees, I must admit. Half my teeth would fall out. But what you need to do is hold your pencil further away, just so that you don't press on hard. If you hold your pencil further away, it stops you from pressing on. And it also goes with the grain of the card. So with these, I want you to take a very gentle approach. I don't want you to press very hard. So just use your pencil from the side. All over 50s are recommended to have flu jab. I've never had one. Maybe I should have one. I've never had one. So what I want you to do is, as you can see, I'm just laying that colour down very lightly on the side. And you can see it's taking on the grain. Hi, Janet. You're right, Flowey. It's if as you can see, it's taking on the grain of the um, card. So what I want you to do is hold your pencil some distance away, so that you don't press on too hard. And I want you to do that with each circle. So with each circle, just lightly press. I'm using polychromos. It doesn't matter what coloured pencils you're using. Oh, my lead's broke again. That's good. I'm doing really well. And actually, to be fair, polychromos don't usually break. Good evening, Miep. Good evening. How are you? How are you? Gail's got a booster next week. Oh, I definitely qualify. <laughs> I definitely qualify. I wish I was 21 again, Dawn, but I definitely qualify. <laughs> yes, I definitely qualify. I ordered loads of stamps for my Christmas from all website with their Black Friday deal. A mix of yours and Janet's. Can't wait. Oh, Vicky, I can't wait to see your projects. Can't wait to see your projects. So what I want you to do is I just want you to just lay the colour and this is about, I'm fine, thanks. I'm glad you're well, Mia. But what it's about is it's about having patience, this is. And the idea is that you're enjoying the process. The idea is that you're not colouring super fast and laying down too much colour too quickly. If you lay down too much colour too quickly, there's nowhere to go. 
you've got nowhere to go if you lay down that pigment too too thickly hello leslie hello flower and what i like about lives like this the one disadvantage of when you're doing the shows on the craft store is i can't do this i can't do it properly because i'm not allowed just an hour just coloring it doesn't work for live tv but for a facebook live i'm not too good with pencils neither am i hope but you know what i find with pencils use a light touch and it always looks beautiful if you press too hard you break down the fibers of the card too quickly and it gets shiny too quickly so always go gently with your color so can you see i've hardly laid anything down there now if you wanted you could just leave it like that you don't have to add color if you don't want but what i want to do is i want to patricia what's that look after lots of patients but i lack in patience <laughs> I've got a customer in the shop, so no sound on the computer. Oh, bless Susan. I'm glad you've got a customer though, Susan. So what I'm doing now, I'm using a polychromo, a purple colour. And what I'm doing is I'm holding it. If you hold it down here, you instantly press on. It's automatic reaction to press on. Now with craft card, I don't want you to press on. You shouldn't press on with any card. But with craft card, you can get a good effect with just a light touch. So just hold it. Can you see that I'm sort of the pencil sort of on the side? I'm not bringing it down here and I'm not using it like a pen. I'm holding it up here and I'm just giving it a light touch. And I wanted to do this Facebook Live because often... You know, like I'm doing a workshop next week and it's about lots of layers and adding layers. And what I want to do is I want to try and not be a one trip pony. I want to try and show you different techniques, however simple they are. However simple. I just want us to have a whole collection of techniques that we can keep going back to and using for our stamps. There's no point me being a stamp designer if I'm not going to try and give lots of ideas. So what I'm doing is I'm laying that colour down very lightly. I'm not pressing down at all. And I'm going to do that with each of the circles. And it's, it's laying it down very lightly, very lightly indeed. And it, it, it really is about patience. It's about not getting frustrated look how light oh bless you dawn can you see how light i'm laying that down i'm not pressing down at all did it kick you out gail three times my husband is a prismacolor blending genius <laughs> oh bless him hey we're all good at something hope we're all good at something so I'm just going to blend and we're not blending the two colours together yet because we can do that with our white pencil. But what I'm doing is I'm laying that colour down very gently. And the problem is often we're in a rush when we're doing these. I just, my ideas are just out of my head, to be honest, Janet. I just And to be honest, I've been doing it for 25 years. So some of these are repeated from what I've done years ago. We used to do this years ago when I had the shop, but we used to spotlight using squares rather than circles. And we used to spotlight a lot using square shapes. It's just that I'm obsessed with circles. So what I'm going to do now is go to my darker colour. Hello, Sid, how are you? How are you, Sid? Do you know what, Sid? My husband is always envious of watching your food posts. I show him every one of your food and wine posts. I say, oh, look where Sid is today. And he gets very envious because he loves his wine and his food. So I'm always showing him your posts. So yes. So it's not just all about crafting, you see, Sid. <laughs> it's all in a crazy head. <laughs> My head is crazy. 
my head is crazy but sometimes you might look at somebody you might look at somebody's work and think oh those colors work good together but then you can take it off in your own tangent what i tend to find is that i've done a technique years ago and i look at that technique say i look at my own blog from years ago and then i'll adapt that into another idea to try and give you a different idea with a similar technique hello joe welcome hello Kay. i don't think i said hello sorry about that hope you're well Kay. so what i'm doing now is i'm laying down the darker color and my finger is coming down a little bit more on the pencil that's because I'm laying down the purple a little bit firmer, not much, just a little. But I've not put my hand down here like I'm drawing with a pen. Oh, thanks, Sid. I'm not holding my, pe my pen down here like I'm writing with a pen. I'm holding it a bit further up, but a little bit further down than I did the first time because I want to lay the colour of this darker colour a little bit firmer but I'm still not pressing very hard. In this Facebook Live, I'm glad you're well, Kay. This Facebook Live isn't about, you know, rushing to the next technique. It's about perfecting our ideas. So as you can see, it's not blended yet, but it's a very subtle colour. So it's not blended. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the white and I'm, can you see, I'm holding it up here. I'm holding it up here and I'm going to doubt, go over once again, just with the white. And your white, you're just going over and you're layering that pigment. And because you're layering that pigment, the colour will get richer it is yes it is like my nails diane so as you lay down this white once again the color of the white gets richer so and it if you think about it it doesn't take long and sometimes a good thing to do oh i need to finish my christmas oh do you have a crafty shed vicky do you have a crafty shed Sometimes another good tip to do is move your card around and colour at a different angle so that you work with the texture of the card and lay down that pigment at a different angle just so that you fill in all that inulations of the card. So sometimes it's a good idea to work at a different angle and turn your card around just so that you work at it at a different angle, so that you fill in all those inulations in that card. And you might not notice it much on the um, Facebook Live, but the white is getting brighter. Oh, did it take you ages, Jane? I do, I'm sorry about that. I could have tagged you if I'd have realised. So the white is getting a little bit brighter. But can you see, I've not moved my fingers down here. My fingers are still up here. They're still blending lightly. Just blending that lightly. And the white is getting brighter because I'm laying down that pigment and it's actually getting brighter. And the reason I did the Facebook Live is because sometimes we move away from doing something simple because we sometimes we don't think it's as good if we don't add as many layers. Well, it is. Oh, hello, Vanessa. How are you? How are you, Vanessa? I saw the picture of your little fur baby. I think, I think he or she was sitting on the settee. You see, I do take notice of these posts. So what you're doing is you're building up that colour. So you're just building it up. And what you need to do, try harder. <laughs> I'm still after my daughter's bread room for a craft room, but I can't seem to get it. I agree with Diane. You need to try a bit harder to get that craft room. 
And what I want you to do now is don't go with this purple, which is the first colour of the purples, don't go into the whole of the centre. Leave some of that white in the centre. So don't go into the centre. Leave some of the white area here. And you're just going very lightly once again. So you're just layering that pigment down. And what you're doing this time is you're holding your hand here, but you're pressing a little bit harder. And just leave this centre area here. So I want you to press a little bit harder with your pencil. But again, not like you're using it and pressing like this. Don't, don't grind your pencil. Oh, that was my daughter's dog. I adore him. Oh, he was lovely. I love seeing fur baby pictures. So again, just lay down that pigment, but just press a little bit harder, but not too hard. Yes, I agree. It does work better if you blend in a nice circle. Although sometimes when I'm doing my flowers, I do use a flicking motion, depending on the flower I'm colouring. They are spring-like, aren't they? Christmas cards, Jane, on craft are stunning. And if you just add a touch of colour, even if you just use greens and a touch of red, it just looks stunning. There's just something classy about craft card, I think. But this is very, yeah, it is spring-like, but I suppose that works perfectly with the violets. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this pencil. It doesn't matter that you're late, Patricia, not one bit. This is just a relaxing Facebook Live. It doesn't matter if you watch or not. So the idea is now I'm going to add a little bit of shading just around the spotlights. Just going to add it around the spotlights just to, just to make it pop a bit more. And I am using the lightest touch possible. Yes, I've used Gambo to blend as well. So you can use baby oil to blend as well. I, on craft card, I don't tend to use any oils or blending solutions just because I think it marks the card. So I don't use any blending solutions. Plus, baby oil works beautifully on white card if you want to blend with baby oil or zest it works beautiful on white card a good old-fashioned primrose yes I, that's true actually Diane but yes yeah, so it's it, I'm just blending on the outside of the circles and I will hold this up each time because I want you to see how it develops and I think it's important that we do Facebook lives like this because when I'm on the craft store, I can't go into detail. I can do, I can waffle on as much as I possibly can, but obviously there's only so much time and I, I'm only allowed so much time. And what I'm going to do now, as I've got this dark colour and I'm holding it further down, further down, just to put a little bit more pressure on. So I'm going to put a little bit more pressure on. And when I've done this little bit, I'm going to pick the card up and show you. And I'm just going around the circle and just adding this darker bit. So just taking my time and just adding the darker bit. And I think sometimes, because we, we're always, sometimes just blending with your clean finger works well. Yes, it does dawn, yes it does. You can just blend with your finger because you've got the oils in your finger. So dawn's right, you can blend with your finger. But this is what I like about Facebook Lives. The idea is that it's time, it's not just about creating, it's time together in these dark nights. Sometimes some of us feel a little bit fed up when it's dark nights. And I think sometimes it's just nice to spend an hour chatting to each other even if we just waffle about any old rubbish i think it's just nice to have a chat together so this oh i'm nice and warm again and back with you <laughs> bless jan so you can see that it just works 
So if I'm using a paper stub, you can use your baby oil with your paper stub. And you can use your paper stubs, which are like this. Hang on. I can't shut my drawer. So if you want to use paper stumps, you can use paper stumps. I've never, no, that's true, Stephen, Steve-o. I've never got a clean finger. But you can use your paper stumps uh, uh, using Zestit or baby oil if you want. But if I'm if I'm very honest, when I'm doing craft card, I just I just blend and I don't blend. I don't I don't worry too much about over blending. So can you see I've now got this darker edge here just around there. And what I'm going to do. Oh, I'm going to just now just blend a bit more with my white pencil. And can you see, I've brought my hand down. I've brought my finger down, further down onto the pencil. And I'm going to press a little bit harder. But I'm not pressing too hard. I'm just pressing and still using a gentle action, but just pressing a little bit harder. Just to blend those colours a little bit more. And it doesn't... The good thing about craft is it's very forgiving. It doesn't have to be blended to within an inch of its life with craft card. You can still get a good effect if you just layer the colours gently. I think what it's about is finding what makes you happy, not what somebody else does. That was due to chocolate cake. Ooh, chocolate cake. Mmm. I love a bit of chocolate cake. Mind you, it's a good job I didn't bring that on the Facebook Live because it would just be a total mess. So what I'm doing now is I'm layering down more of that white pigment. And it sort of softens the two purples. It softens the two purples together. So I'm just like, and if you notice, I've not added any purple in the centre here. I've left that area lighter. And what I would say about this is you need to take you need to take a good good half an hour to three quarters of an hour just colouring, just adding your colour. And the more patient you can be, the better. And turn your card so that your colour. You apply the white at different angles. It doesn't matter. You can catch up any time, Margaret. No problem at all. Not everybody can be available all the time. So just move your card around so you're applying that ink, cross-hatching sort of the pencil so that it's applied in different ways. So I just want you to... And now what I normally do when I did my first one, I spend a good 10 minutes doing this. I'm obviously not going to do this on a Facebook Live because, again, you'll all be falling asleep if you aren't already asleep now. So I'm just going to apply that. Good evening, Linda. Good evening. So I'm just applying that white just to blend. And what you need to do is take time just to add that colour and you will keep blending it. I just love the polychromos. I'm the same, Joe. I love polychromos. They just I love the fact that you can you can still look good even if you can't blend to perfection and you're not an expert. No problem, Linda, no problem at all. And what we've got is that will do us for now. That will do us for now. And what we're going to do then is just take a gel pen and just give it a little bit more brightness. So what I'm going to do is just add a little bit. I need to just layer my gel pen. So it's going straight onto the, the oil base. So I just need to give it time to layer. I will layer the colour on. So while we're waiting for that to... Uh, settle just let the fibers settle of the card so it's always best to do a slow build 
and what I'm going to do is add another highlight just around my card so just there we go there we go it's going now so just adding another highlight to my card and I'm adding these white dots because it just makes it pop a little bit more and I always say that when, when I do a Facebook live I'm not going to rush any of the processes because it's just important that you see each process so I'm just going around just to give that another pop <laughs> yes I'm teetotal I am teetotal I haven't had no alcohol has passed my lips for 24 years no alcohol has passed my lips I know goody two shoes or what so just add those white highlights to my white oh I'm hopeless with white pens Sue sent me um a tipex marker that I'm going to get round to using because white pens always fail me I mean it could be me the user but there you go but I'm just going round just to add these dots just to give another highlight to the design. Just because something is reasonably flat doesn't mean you can't add dimension and life to the design. Nothing wrong with a wee dram every now and then. Ian, my husband, doesn't know what every now and then means, Jan. He just likes a wee dram most of the time. Oh yes, galaxy chocolate is definitely a vice. Any chocolate is a vice, but yes, I eat far too much chocolate. So, oh, I've got loads of bad habits, I have. Probably too many to mention. <laughs> yes, if I drank, I would get arrested because I'm dangerous enough without it. So I'm the same, Linda. I'm absolutely the same. <laughs> I don't know what happened 24 years ago that made you go teetotal. Unfortunately, Diane, it was very boring. It was just my stomach. So can you see that we've now, we're building up this design. We're building up the depth to that design. 37 years for me, pre my first pregnancy. Wow, Jill. <laughs> so now when, when, um dawn was mentioning using a circular motion which you can that's another top tip you can use a circular motion but when i'm coloring something like the leaves so i've got two colors of green here with my polychromos and when i'm doing the leaves i tend to work like this and i will use a flicking motion because then i don't get any lines on the design so i sort of use a flicking motion to the way and shape of the of the design must have been bad bartending <laughs> enjoy your son's birthday jane getting his birthday tea have a lovely time jane so what i'm going to do is just add the green and only to the leaves that are in the spotlight only to those leaves so i sort of use a flicking motion just on the leaf designs sitting here budgies behind me are watch oh bless the cute budgies so i'm now using the darker color and again i'm using a flicking motion just to add that darker layer i have a drink once in a blue moon i'm nuts anyway i just think all that money goes down the pan oh my husband likes a drink he makes up for the two of us it doesn't need me to drink because my husband makes up for it. He's gin, gin mad. But what I like about doing the flicking motion on the leaf is that I don't get any harsh lines. So we've just added colour to our leaf. Yeah, for fur so that you can get texture. If you flick, you can get texture on the fur. So yes, yeah, so lots of top tips here for you. 
So just so you can see that, and now what I'm going to do is grab a scrap of white card, and now I want to add a pop of white. <laughs> Ian always loves a gin, Jan, he does. So what I'm going to do now is I want to make these pop a little bit more. So I'm going to take the violet and I just want to make two of the flowers pop a little bit more. So I'm just going to stamp these two flowers. Again with my Nocturne Black. My Nocturne Black. Thanks, Jan. It's just about... I think what I like about craft the most is it looks more forgiving than anything else. And you, you look good even if you're not. It's brilliant. So what I'm going to do is just add a bit of colour to these flowers and I want them in white just so they pop a little bit more. So I've got my two colours. I've got a light and a dark or a medium and a dark. Guess what you are getting for Christmas? My son's just started a job in a gin <laughs> distillery. Ooh, <laughs> that would be dangerous for Ian, that would. Having a son that works in a gin distillery. Oh, good grief. So what I'm doing now, just bring this up. I'm now just using a flicky motion just to add, and I'll turn my flower upside down just to add that flicking motion with the purple. And can you notice I'll leave a bit of white here just so that the edges... Niall hates gin. Oh, does he? Oh, no. Ian's gin mad. Absolutely gin mad. So I'm just using that flicking motion just to colour those. Also, with using the flicking motion, it stops me from colouring the whole area. It means that I automatically leave a white area at the bottom of the flower. And it, it, the white area just makes it pop a little bit more. So I tend to turn my card and colour that way. And the flowers are only small, so it doesn't take long to colour them. Oh, thanks, Joe. And I'm just going to colour... And then what I'm going to do is take my darker colour. And have you noticed when I'm doing this compared to when I did the craft? Have you noticed that I'm holding the pencil a bit closer down? So now I'm going to add the darker colour just to the inner, inner edges there. Just to add a bit of darkness. But can you see I'm holding it like a pen rather than further away. But I'm not pressing too hard. I'm pressing just enough to lay down that pigment. If you press too hard, it's going to get shiny. And the minute your card is shiny, you've got nowhere to go. You can't lay any more pigment down once it's shiny. So then you just may as well give up because there's no more to lay down. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut these flowers out. And I didn't cut them out before. I do apologise, there just wasn't enough time. So what I'm going to do is just cut them out and leave a little, a little white border. So just cutting this out. Again, leaving a little white border will just make it pop a little bit more. It will bring the whole design to life. And it's, it's just, sometimes it's good to do a live rather than a YouTube or something like that because then you can ask questions live and also like Dawn giving top tips as well we can all join in and all help each other so now my flower will pop shiny is good for eyes and tiny <laughs> yes especially that when you're doing the eye yes but the minute you get your card shiny, there's nowhere else to go. You can't lay down more pigment because it then becomes a shiny, slick surface. But it's great if you get that touch. Obviously, once you get it shiny, if it's on the eye, the pupil of the eye, yes, then it's different. Oh, that's lovely, Anne. You see, it's, it proves, that Anne, that proves that it's good catering for everybody because you've just said you don't always catch the, the YouTubes 
so that's really good if i do youtubes i do a facebook live it means that in some shape or form it caters for everybody's everybody's taste so just cutting that out there we go so now we've got these it is about choice, Jill, exactly. It's about choice. So I'm just going to bend the flowers a little bit just to give them a little bit more life. And then I can add these. Let's add them the right way, like so. It just makes it pop a little bit more. Yeah, I don't use StreamYard. I know I know you can you can do it, but I'm afraid I just stay basic and I just use my Facebook lives. And I'll just add this to YouTube after for the YouTube ladies. Not a problem. So I'm just adding these. It just makes it so the flowers aren't sinking into the background. You're very welcome, Dawn. So just so that you can... Just so the flowers don't sink into the background. That just makes it pop a little bit more. And then I'm just going to add... Just going to add a little bit of white to these flowers here, just so they don't get forgotten. And just add a little bit of colour just to these. So I'm just going to add a little bit of colour. Thanks, Joe. It just brings it to life a little bit more. But I don't want to forget these little ones as well. And it's just nice just to remember all the details. So what I'm going to do now, just to bring a little bit more depth to my design, is I'm going to use my text stamp from the Toucan, from the Toucan stamp set. I'm going to use that one. And I'm going to use pinecone ink. I'm going to use the pinecone ink. And I'm going to add a little bit of detail over those circles. So I'm using pinecone brown ink. So this came just right. Sweet and sour chicken in a crock pot. Oh, Janet, that sounds lovely. So what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of stamping just at the top, just in the pine cone ink. So I'm going to do first generation and then I'm going to do second generation. Oh, she says. It's a good job that was just nothing on it. Sounds delicious, doesn't it? So just so you can see, I love how the text goes through the circles. But I've got first generation and second generation on there. So I'm going to do that again. So I've got my ink. I've inked with pinecone ink. And I'm going to go with the first generation. And then I'm going to add some across here just to give a little bit of balance in second generation and add some more on this side. So I'm just building up that layer. Just Let's just clean that off so you can see. Just adding the layer. Son is cooking steak with peppercorn sauce for us, us this evening. Oh, I like how you've all got your food already. You're all prepared with your food. Mind you, Ian will cook mine. Let's let's get it right. You know that I don't cook, don't you? You know that I don't cook. You know that it's going to be Ian that's doing that. So first generation, second generation to give me some balance, and I'll even do third generation. Let me just lift this up. And I love how it just touches the leaves a little bit. Love how it just touches it a little bit made felt gnomes oh we'll have to see your felt gnomes oh you see diane's very healthy it's spud making so not too much more for this card now so what i want to do now is grab the violet text which is meat and potato pie oh I feel hungry now. I've got I've got sea bass. Sea bass I've got. So I'm just getting the violet text that's off the violet stamp set. 
and we're going to stamp that in black. Oh, and Dawn's going for an Indian. Oh, you see, and we've got a live in and then you've got your tea to look forward to. How lovely. So I'm stamping the violet in black ink onto white card. So just the violet text. And then we'll just cut that out. And again, this adds that pop of white just to our design, just to make it sing a little bit more with having that pop of white. I don't just want there to be a pop of white just in the flowers. I need it to be elsewhere as well. Oh, Margaret's got Indian tonight. And for Hope, it's lunch, so it's a bagel for, for, uh, for Hope. So I'm just going to add this violet text here. Just to add that there. Then the pop of white echoes the pop of white here and the pop of white that I'll add to my matte and layering. I have nine decoupage projects on the go. <laughs> oh, crikey. Nine projects. And it is me to struggle with one project. Nine projects on the go. Good grief. Right, where's my pencil? So I just want, to, I don't want this to be floating. I want to add a little bit of shading just to the violet. So I'm just going to use my Inktense pencil, which is sharpened beautifully. Coffee and Tracy Live for Gina. It's morning where Gina is. Good morning, Gina. So I'm just adding a little bit of shading just to here. I live in Jersey, very near New York City. I've just told everybody that now, Hope. So I'm just adding a little bit of shading just around the violet. Doesn't the time go quick when you're creating, when you do something really slowly and you do all the, the stamping and everything? The time goes so quick. let alone nine. <laughs> what I've got now is I've got my little blackbird. So we're going to add the blackbird and I've coloured the edges with black. So I'm just going to add my blackbird just on the top of the violet. And it's not until you put the matten layers on that it starts to sing when you add those matten layers. What I want to do now is add some white splatters. Just add some white splatters. Just clear everywhere. And then when we add this to our mat and layers, it makes a big difference. So because we've got that white, I'm going to have to give it a name. When you add it to a white mat, it makes a huge difference. It makes a huge difference. Because I'm adding that white mat because we've got those pops of white in the background. Yes, happy birthday, Joe. I put black pen around the edge instead of black card behind now. Oh, yes, that because that's what... Je um, Janet Pring and Joe Rice do. So I'm just, I like to add my mats and layers. So we've got the white mat. We're all saying happy birthday. And then, so that is a quarter of an inch bigger and I'm going them up in quarter of an inch increments. Just to add those quarter of an inch increments. Oh, I'm going across the road shops with parents. Yes, we've heard about that, Catherine. We've heard TK Maxx. No secrets safe here, you know. Oh, thanks, Sid. So I'm just adding that. And then I've got a five and a half inch by seven and a half inch card blank, which I'm going to add to. Just add that. I do think the matting and layering makes a big difference. 
it makes a card look really professional. So just add that to a white card. <laughs> How funny is it, TJ Maxx here? What did I say? Is it, is it TK Maxx? It is, isn't it? Couldn't remember. Just add that to a white. And what you could do is, if you wanted to change it up a little bit, you could add the little... It, it's TJ. Is it, I thought it was TK Maxx. Is it TJ Maxx? What have I been saying? You could add a little heart here. What is it called? I'm, I'm lost now. I thought it was TK Maxx. Oh, I'm dangerous. Am I, have I been calling it the wrong thing? Have I been calling it the wrong thing? So I'm just going to add a heart just on the bottom here from the violet stamp set. Yeah, TK Maxx. You know, I was thinking, I was concerned I was calling it the wrong thing. So I'm just going to add a little bit of shading just around the heart here, just to finish it off. And then we've nearly finished this card. Just add a little bit of shading, just around the heart, just like that. And then just add a little gel pen. TJ in the US, oh, just add a little, there we go. And that is your card finished. There's a Home Sense too, which is the same company, Tracy. Is it? I didn't know that. Put your lid on the glue. Thank you, Diane. Diane knows that it, once the air gets to it, thank you. And that is your card finished. And that's what I'm going to do with these next lives. I'm going to try and keep trying to create some simple projects for you that still look effective. Oh, we forgot one detail. We forgot one detail. I nearly forgot. We've got to add my little clip. Just adding my clip to the top. Oh, thank you, Sue. I'm just going to do my dad a few Christmas cards. Oh, that's a good idea, Sue. That's a good idea. Make some simple ones. And there is your card finished. Oh, thank you very much, Anika. Thank you. I'm sorry if I didn't say hello. Thanks, Sid. Thank you for joining us. Wondered where the hardware was. <laughs> I nearly forgot my hardware. <laughs> so, thank you very much for joining me, everybody. I will be back again next week with another live. I'm, I'm hopefully going to do them at the weekend, Linda, although I'm teaching next weekend friday saturday sunday monday so it will depend how i feel after that and how long we take so i am going to try and do the weekend uh but if not i'll i'll try and give plenty of notice so yes so thank you very much everybody for joining me i hope you have a lovely saturday and a lovely sunday uh and keep those posts coming said of the food so i can keep my husband entertained Thanks, Kerry. So thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Marjorie. Thank you, Karen. And thanks for all the tips, Dawn. Oh, is that 61? 61? Oh, the workshop. <laughs> I was thinking, I thought you were asking me if I was 61. <laughs> That's the medley of creativity, the where we create 10 cards in the workshop, Dawn. I think that's 61, isn't it? Two, three. Yes, I think it's 61. I just thought you were asking me if I was 61 then, Dawn. <laughs> so thanks very much, everybody. Thanks for joining me, Patricia. And I'll see you all soon. Take care, everybody. Bye for now. Bye.